All right, everybody, welcome back to another Bee Mother review. Today, I'm very excited to present to you our first review from Sume Art. Uh, this is Majin Vegeta. He's the first, I believe, in their one quarter scale HQS Dragon Ball Z lineup. And, uh, you know, Dragon Ball is one of the, probably one of the most well known, well recognized brands worldwide and it made its way over to North America and it kind of made that jump across the ocean in the 90s and so that's when I was a kid and many collectors today when they were kids and it became a really influential animated series in their lives and um, you know it's still very popular today a uh, huge huge series and Vegeta is definitely one of the most popular characters from that series so um, I'm excited about this statue. I'm excited to get into it. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into the review. All right, so Majin Vegeta. This is from the classic scene, the fan favorite scene where he's about to unleash his atomic blast on Majin Buu. So this is, uh, basically they've taken this scene right out of the anime turn it into 3D so that you can put it on your shelves. And, and that's what I love best about this statue is, you know, it, it's, it's right out of the show, um, but they, they've jacked up the details enough to make it um, shine in this one quarter scale format. You got some nice texture on the suit, uh, a little bit of a leather texture on the gloves, some wrinkles there in the boots and everything. Nice leather texture there as well. Uh, the sand texture, um, on the base, the swirling soil around him, the dust clouds here are kind of more of a smooth material. Um, I love the energy field. I love the effect that they've given here to, again, make, help it stand out in this larger scale format. Um, but they haven't lost that essence, that, that look and feel of the, of the anime uh, that people have come to love so much, and especially in his face. You can see a very animated feel. They got the big eyes there. Um, they've got the little hatch marks, these little black hatch marks on his skin and on his face that give it that real animated feel. And I, and I love that about this statue. Um, so they, they, they've, they've been able to um, take the piece, uh, as I said, add these details to it to make it worthwhile in this scale but it still has that essence. I love that. You got the bulging veins in his arms and in his forehead there. Um, so really, really a fine job by the Sume team here. Uh, taking this classic scene, it's almost, like I said, almost exactly pulled out of the, the anime. Um, and it, it's just a, a really, really nice sculpt and design here. I love what they've done with this piece. All right, paint on this statue overall is pretty good. I like the skin tones they've given them. Uh, nice clean lines. The hatch marks uh, that I mentioned, the black hatch marks are nice and clean. Uh, nice shading on the suits, maybe a bit dark, uh, but still looks pretty good. Helps to bring out the muscles on his chest and everything. Uh, some nice shading in the gloves and the wrist area to give it a little bit of depth uh, in those wrinkle areas. Um, the one place they maybe went a little heavy for me is these highlights on his back, uh, you know, to kind of give the sense of reflection from the energy field. Uh, I may have toned that down a little bit, but it doesn't look too, too bad. Um, but overall, nice clean paint job on Vegeta. You look at his hair, it kind of goes from a darker yellow and then fades into a white at the tips of his hair. And then you look at the energy field around him here, and it kind of goes from clear to sort of a yellowy and then a little bit of a darker yellow and maybe an orangey color at the tips of those um, of the energy field spikes there. Uh, overall, nice clean paint job like I said. There's really nothing to complain about too much on this piece in particular, uh, except for as I said, maybe a little heavy on the highlights in the back. But uh, overall, nice clean paint job on this statue. All right, so production and build quality on this statue is where I think it really excels. And uh, so we'll start off this piece. It's, uh, it's very heavy. It has a very nice, high quality feel to it. Um, if you like that about your statues, it is hard to move around. Uh, I will say that, so be careful when you do it. 
um, but very nice quality feel to it. Um, inside the box, I did do an unboxing video, so you can check that out separately on the channel. See how it comes packaged. It's a nice presentation, uh, very well packaged and protected. And um, one thing you get inside the box is you get this little envelope here. Uh, and inside that envelope you get a art print. Uh, so a nice little print of the statue there. And you also get your assembly guide. And inside there you've got the pack, you know, the packaging instructions there and the assembly instructions. So uh, it's fairly straightforward to put together. Uh, this does help with the lightning uh, sequence around them. Each one of those is a separate piece. Um, but uh, as I said, production quality on this is very, very good. Vegeta's body is all one piece, which is really nice. So you don't get any neck seam uh, around the neck there. Uh, it's all one piece, totally seamless, very, very nice. Uh, one thing I really, I really am impressed with is the quality of this clear resin casting. Um, oftentimes with clear resin, you'll find that there's little um, imperfections inside, like little air bubbles or something like that. This one, it's, it's almost like glass. It's, all, it's totally clear. It looks very, very nice in person. I was really impressed. It's something that really jumped out at me as I was unboxing it. Uh, another really cool feature on this statue is the light up feature. And there's an AC adapter that plugs into the back. Um, you get all sorts of different little plugins. So whatever outlet style you have around the world, it should work for you. Um, so there's a little button at the back, you can turn it on. And so we'll do that now. And you can see how the lights flash there. And what's really cool also, is if you have a powered speaker system that you can plug it into, there's also a sound feature and it's all uh, sequenced and timed with the lights. So it's sort of uh, this sort of slow build uh, starts off soft with this sort of rolling thunder and clouds, a little bit of rain, and then it gets louder and there's lightning and you get that energy effect f uh, sound. Um, so from the unboxing video, I'm going to play for you a little snippet of it. You can watch the whole sequence on that other video, but here's a little uh, clip for you to see what it sounds like. So you can see the sound effects are pretty much right out of the show. And you, if you push the button at the back, you can cycle through different, there's different light sequences, there's different sound sequences. There's one with no sound at all if you want. Um, and apparently uh, there is a little sort of USB connection back there. So there's a way to update it with different sounds if Sume chooses to release those later on in the future. So very, very cool. I like the light up feature. If you're able to have it plugged into the speakers, it'll be a really cool effect. Uh, so when people come over to your house, you have guests over or something to show them, uh, they're going to be really impressed. So as I said, very nice quality piece, very nice, heavy, uh, high quality feel, seamless body on uh, Vegeta there, uh, which is really important. You don't get any ugly neck seams or anything. And really, really nice, clear, a uh, high quality casting on this clear resin. So um, I'm really, really impressed. As I said, this is the first Sume art piece that I've had a chance to see in person. And I was really, really impressed with it. So really nice piece here from Sume. Okay, so one thing I forgot to mention in the last segment is you also get this little metal uh, kind of engraving or, or, or plaque that you can display alongside. It's got a nice feel to it actually. It's a solid metal piece. You get a nice little clear display stand there. So nice little uh, accessory to have beside your statue there. Um, so again, overall, uh, this, this statue, it, it's a scene right out of the anime. Uh, they've, met, they've jacked up the details like I mentioned, but they kept that essence, that real animated feel that people love about the show and so they've, they've managed this um, you know to, to combine the detail that people want and need in their statues today especially at the prices that you pay but still give you that very nostalgic 
look and feel from the show. Uh, quality wise, uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, you got the light and sound feature, uh, this superb clear resin effect, um, seamless body, um, that great packaging presentation, um, just, just an overall very, very nice looking piece. Now, um, you know, as I mentioned in, in previous reviews, anime is, is kind of new to me. Um, I'm by no means a Dragon Ball expert, but um, I think Dragon Ball fans are going to be super excited about this piece. Now, I know there was some QC issues um, earlier in the year when that first batch came out, and I know people have kind of been waiting a long time for this one to come out as they release it in batches, but um, I think overall, as I said, Dragon Ball fans are going to be really, really pleased with this piece. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. This is Majin Vegeta from Sume Art. Uh, we're going to have one more review from Sume. We got the Quiet Wrath of Son Goku, so that one's going to be coming up soon. Uh, we're going to have some tweeter head reviews. Uh, we're going to have uh, some sideshow, some XM. So uh, lots of stuff coming up on the channel. Also stay tuned for more episodes of Shelf Space, uh, the chat show that I'm co-hosting with Gina B from Gina B Collecting. Uh, you can watch those episodes down below on the channel. There's a playlist there for you. So thanks again for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the review, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Yeah.